Welcome to another Transformers Prime review. This time we're looking at the Voyager Class Skyquake figure. Now this is an interesting release uh, considering when we first saw this figure as a prototype in BotCon a few years ago. Uh, then it was delayed and then uh, the repaint, Dreadwing, actually came out first or uh, middle of last year I think. And finally getting the Skyquake first. Uh, or now. Uh, so here he is in jet mode. It is the same jet mode uh, as we got with Dreadwing, uh, but has a completely new color scheme. It replaces the blue with green uh, and silvers with reds, and has some real nice uh, silver paint added on into the cockpit. Uh, gives a little bit more definition. Uh, and overall, it has a very military. Uh, kind of uh, uh, brute strength kind of feel while as the blue and dreadwing had more of like a elegant uh, classier look to it it's a nice contrast between the two considering they're both twins while it gives dreadwing more of a the brains and skyquake more of the brawn uh, feel to them and if you look here he does have landing gear as with the dreadwing that goes up does not roll and it has molded in wheels here in the back which do not move at all it has a lot of junk in the back but it's alright because the jet mode seat in the show seems to be more of the chunkier design anyway visible hand syndrome always kind of a bummer but it looks good Overall, I really like it. These piece, these hip pieces are still a little bit distracting. Uh, you can take his weapon here, attach to the top, his powerizer weapon. You can see a little blue or a little red LED light up in there. And you can take the sword that he comes with, which is the exact same sword that came with Dreadwing. You can attach to the bottom here on either side. Before I forget, the Dread uh, Skyquake's weapon is more of a Gatling gun as opposed to Dreadwing's, which is more of a kind of like a fusion cannon. So it represents their shell weapons fairly well. Uh, okay. Once again, I cannot figure out a way to get these pieces to tab in anywhere so they just kind of hang out kind of loose uh, yeah really like him him uh, bring these two together see that they both look really nice together you can see the contrast between the two uh, especially in the uh, see how what the difference how adding the silver around in the cockpit makes it just look a lot better but yeah overall oh and uh, the wings here in the back are uh, still rubbery, which is fine. Doesn't really bother me. Uh, Going to be skipping the transformation. Uh, if you want to see a transformation, watch the Dreadwing review. So here he is in robot mode. And here's Skyquake in robot mode. And you can tell that he is a very, very accurate representation of his on screen or on show uh, character model um, although I do find that the green is a tad bit brighter than how he is in the show as he's more of like a I don't know, more muted dull gray this is more of a bright green <clears throat> but it's not distracting at all just um, not quite the right shade but you see the especially the silver they added here in the cockpit just really makes the whole robot mode a lot better looking and they added some silver here on the forehead crest and uh, a little bit of red at the very tip gives it a lot more detail as opposed to the uh, dreadwing which was a solid blue they replaced the trans uh, transclearant yellow plastic with a really deep brownish orange on the forearms here uh, overall, it's really nice looking. They same articulation, um, has a little bit 
of a ball joint here at the neck. These shoulder pads move for a little bit more movement. Ball jointed elbow or shoulder, bicep swivel, pretty standard shoulder or wrist swivel, no waist, uh, ball jointed hip with a swivel, and really decent knee and tiny bit of foot. And I like to store, you can store his uh, gun on the back here too, but that just sticks out way too much. What I prefer to do is I have his sword stored here in the back and have it like kind of at an angle like that, as it is in the show, and just kind of like that. Looks really nice. And I do the same thing with Dreadwing, and normally just put these silly weapons off to the side and. Uh, he can't, he can't hold his gun underarm like he does in the show because of the way his hand is. But I would have preferred if there was a way he could, I don't know, hold it like this. Like a traditional minigun. There's no way he can do that. Um, let's see. Standing up properly. Bring out his brother Dreadwing here. You can see that the differences in colors are really stand out stand out a whole lot more here. You can see that the the green just kind of makes him more like a military soldier. And uh, blue really makes him more I don't know, uh, more navy looking uh, gives him more of a classier more intelligent look while the green hair gives him more of a military uh, strength look to him so it's a nice contrast here so what I recommend getting Skyquake even if you have drawing ring absolutely because the differences in the paint schemes of the two really uh, make it seem like its own figure especially if you don't have Dreadwing just the mold itself is one of the superior molds in the Transformers Prime line. It's pro I think I put it in my second favorite Prime uh, mold so far in my top five best Prime toys so far. So definitely recommend picking this guy up if you can get a chance to find him. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.